Hello! This is the One Episode Rule, a podcast about first impressions. I am Magpie, coming to you with guilt in my heart that I simply do not engage with this medium outside the show anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about starting to tr- like watch some movies or something, because I Maybe. don't seem to be watching any anime series. <laughs> there's, you know, there's a lot of good ones out there. If you caught up on Oshinoko, you could watch with us. I got, I just got, there's so many, many of video games for me to play, guys. I'm a huge gamer, don't you know? I'll help you. You have been playing Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy IX is an anime. Final (laughs) Fantasy IX is so anime. Which Mm -hmm. uh, I might um, need you to send me the purchase link for that. The very legal purchase link. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I'll get at you with all the stuff I have bolted onto it. Um, but um, yeah, how are you guys? Uh, I'm Blackle. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, my severe Santrix addiction continues. Mm. Yes. Um, good. I'm currently playing it right now, but the thing is, is that it seems to like give me more focus on things. So it's good. It's a good thing. It's that good I have for now. your brain. It's good for my brain head. I've oh, noticed that it significantly lowers the amount of clicks I have to erase in my editing <laughs> yeah, process. Yeah, it's just, so. all I have to do is press the keyboard buttons, <laughs> and it's very easy and very simple. It's free, and it's healthy. Awesome. Hi, I'm Joey. Um, I I have been pretty minimal on the anime this week. I did catch up on Oshino. Well, actually, I don't know if another episode of Oshinoko came uh, out. We watched Oshinoko in between the we did last catch episode up, and this one. Is my point. But I don't think a new um, one has come out. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, it's interesting that we've had multiple friends hear about the premise for Oshinoko <laughs> and go, I don't believe you that it gets better. <laughs> uh-huh. You should be like, listen, I don't know what to tell you. It just does. Um, but that's that's pretty much it. I also had a unusual event last night where I discovered an old fan fiction I wrote for Space Dandy probably in like 2017 and I was like, when did I do this? I swear forgot that Space Dandy existed until now. It's such, I I did it's read that whole thing and I was like, damn, I miss this show I want to watch it again <laughs> so maybe I'll do that at some point <laughs> It's like it's like Cowboy Bebop, but trashy It's Cowboy Bebop, but <laughs> 10 times sillier it's i mean it would have to be it's like the same creator it's like if cowboy bebop was pro wrestling (laughs) it's really true (laughs) anyhow that's been my week nice hi there i also watched oshinoko that's it oh shit what is my name (laughs) oh god not the louis amnesia arc Oh, yeah, that's right. It's Louie. Hi, guys. Uh, am I a boy, a girl, or not? Those options. I'm trying to do, like, the Pokemon introduction thing, but it's just, it doesn't work in 2023. You're making me think about Pokemon as biologists and have them just be like, I've, I've been studying these things called animals. Um, <laughs> Uh, so, uh, so yeah, I believe we tasked, uh, Blackle with digging something out of the vault. Oh, yeah, that's news? my job today. Week? Oh, yeah, yeah, news. Uh, let's hit the news. Uh, I, I kind of, <laughs> I kind of blocked it out because, uh, I'll, I'll be oh, real. Boy. We're going with the bad news first. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh, so the bad news is, is for the 50th anniversary of Osam- Osamu Tezuka's Blackjack, they are releasing a, a new series okay. of the manga. Unfortunately, it is co-authored by an AI. <laughs> what? Which I, with, which I would describe as tantamount to, to defiling his grave. <laughs> Pardon the fuck out of me, but that's just ridiculous. It is uh, revolting, is what I would call oh, it. Oh, God. So, so I encourage our, our listeners to not engage with this in any way. Um, now. Uh, n- now we have more interesting news. Uh, apparently, the author of Hell's Paradise has divulged in an interview that uh, the concept originally had nothing to do with ninja, ninja or samurai or anything of that nature. Uh, it was originally a story about uh, kids in a in a detention center and the lawyers who represented them. Oh, 
That's fucked. Interesting. It was a. It was apparently. Uh, it was apparently just a framework where he ha- had had uh, multiple multiple people with uh, cross purposes being forced to work together in a mm. in a closed circle. Fair and enough. apparently that translates just as easily from that uh, from modern story about uh, ki- delinquent kids to ninja. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, yeah. It stated that that uh, he changed his uh, his mind about the setting after a conversation with his editor, which makes me wonder if it was a co- quote a conversation with his editor or a command from his editor. <laughs> yeah, you like, dude. <laughs> Do not do not write about this controversial setting. <laughs> this editor Dude, was like, have you ever heard of Naruto? Yeah, just, exactly. Just make it about feudal Japan. That always goes up for well. Everyone likes this. It will be uh, safe. Um, and finally, uh, you guys should keep your ears out on July 1st, because apparently at Anime Expo uh, 2023, uh, Trigger is going to just announce a whole bunch of shit Ooh. during their panel, and it will get out to the rest of the internet quickly. Th- they've got things for at least uh, a new panty and stocking project, something oh. about uh, the 15th anniversary uh, Gurren Langan movie. Neat. And uh, they're gonna. Prem- it looks like they're gonna premiere Dungeon Meshi. So. Whoa. Awesome. So that's a bunch of good news from our friends at Studio Trigger. All right, Blackle, what's the thing? All right, so what have you got? the plan is to pick one of the two anime that my beautiful, lovely, lovely girlfriend had recommended to the show. Mm. And uh, the show we're going to be watching is The Law of Uke. All right. Okay. And that's the plan. Let's, well, let's get, to get, get to it. Let's go to law school. Wait, Uke? <laughs> Man, I had to look up when this was made immediately because I was just right? like, "It's got the stank on it. It's got the <laughs> stank. stank on it." And yeah, yeah, it's like 2005. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, it's got a real like like Hunter Hunter extremely early digital animation yes, <laughs> going on. Yeah. Um, Burn but, uh, and dodge the medieval fantasy Photoshop comic. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, who wants to read this? Uh, I, I can read this, but does you anybody else? read this. Okay, I'll read this one. Unbeknownst to most humans, a bizarre tournament is held to decide the next ruler of the heavenly world. In this tournament, 100 heavenly beings known as God Candidates are required to search among the middle school students of Earth <laughs> and transfer their powers to a student of their choice. The chosen ones will then battle each other, representing their god candidates. The victor of this tournament will be awarded the blank talent, allowing them to choose any one unique ability they so desire, while the god candidate they represent will obtain the position of god and become king of the heavenly world. Participating in this grand tournament is uh, Kosuke Ueki, a middle school student who is given the power to turn trash into trees by his homeroom teacher, Kobayashi. Despite this con- uh, the concern of his classmates, uh, I Mori, Ueki embarks on a journey to pursue his own sense of justice after witnessing the people around him misusing their powers for selfish purposes. But as he incur- encounters talented power users such as uh, Seichiro Sano, <laughs> Rinko <laughs> Gerard, Robert <laughs> Hayden, and Hideyoshi Soya, <laughs> He realizes that achieving his goal may be harder than it seems. Yeah, Rinko and Robert Hayden. <laughs> fucking Gerard. <laughs> Robert Hayden. This Robert Hay- Hayden sounds like a man who manages the tellers at a bank. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Hayden sounds like the protagonist's name for a Twilight Zone episode. Look. The- <laughs> I, I vaguely consider, understand. if you will, the story of power user Robert Hayden. <laughs> I kind of vaguely got what they were trying to say during the show, but this summary was somehow like more descriptive than the first. It was episode. It extremely like, more descriptive. Because I was watching it, and I was like, "What the hell is happening here?" I'm glad. What does any I'm of glad this that mean? we're talking about this mm-hmm. because I had the same problem. I appreciate this a little bit because the show doesn't have exposition dump. Uh, Itis. <laughs> yeah, but like I, I, I need I also me to talk no the, jutsu. 
I don't, uh, <laughs> don't think they need that in everything, but I do think in this one... They you need it, but something... I like it to be like chopped up over the course of a couple of episodes. Yes, yeah. but um, also you know I... I think their premise is so ridiculous that it was going to be hard no matter what. Is the thing. Do, you, do you know that like game you play with your friends where like someone says three words uh -huh. and the other person uh -huh. says three third words to like make a story? Kind Absolutely of, not. Yeah. No, <laughs> it's it's like you say a story, but each person only says one word at a time, um, and it's just oh, an okay. improvisation. I have a thing. Discord server I'm in that does that. Yeah. Anyway, this this anime feels like the product the product of that. Yeah, so, it kind of does. It's got actually. a little it's got, it's got a little hectic bent, a little comedy bent, like uh like many shonen of the time. Yeah. <laughs> What's yeah. the category Before, for it on my anime list? Uh, I I don't I don't almost know. I, certainly I shonen, I, almost certainly shonen. Yeah, oh almost God. certainly a shonen. Yeah, almost certainly a shonen battle anime. <laughs> but uh, well, that's fair. It, this literally is just a tournament arc. So yeah, uh, yeah. This is this is this is weird. It's like anime is like cyclical because this is like ten years before the modern the twenty tens uh, like explosion of turn uh, tournament arc only anime like death yeah. games and stuff like that. Yeah, like de yeah, death the the death game boom. Um, this has to be the the clumsiest way I've seen a show introduce a death game. But uh, Joey's favorite genre. But uh, but anyway, let's uh, let's get to the uh, to the rundown on this. So we open, uh, we actually cold open on a battle scene from later in the story, which is interesting. Uh, yes. I actually think it's a pretty good way to hook the kind of people who like shonen. Yeah, because you got to sure. show you show them a fight. They're it's just like, like this oh, is what fights are gonna there? be like. Stick around, you fucking asshole! You're in for you, a wild ride. <laughs> just it's like, do you like this? Do you like to see this fight? Well, wait around; it's gonna happen. Um. August. But uh, yeah, it's occurring in like the Street Fighter training stage or something. Yeah, it <laughs> seems just like room. in a big tile room. It's, of it's some in sort. the back rooms of Laputa. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, they're. Uh, it's my favorite Steven Universe gem. Uh, um, <laughs> Mister uh, Mister Uki is uh, dueling somebody else with their powers. Um, yeah. And I was just like, wow, there's a lot happening here. There's a lot of like Full Metal Alchemist scenery destruction happening. Yes. Um, yeah. And he's like, okay, that's neat, um, but uh, but we gotta we gotta go back. We gotta go back to the beginning of the story. So so after these scenes, uh, we uh, we come in on Ueki in the park planting trees. Just plant. He's just, he's just doing doing like responsible kid stuff. He's doing environmental activism. <laughs> yeah, he loves a tree. Um, that's pretty much uh, all I got about his character for the most yeah. part. Yeah, he's uh, planting some little trees and uh, sweeping up the park, uh, which is an incredibly Japanese idea to me. Just the idea <laughs> of going out and sweeping concrete on a hot yeah. day. But <laughs> listen, but uh, but as he he's being observed by his blue-haired classmate from behind a tree, and while while he's being observed, he is accosted by some. Uh, some anime ass delinquents. Um, these, these are these boys looked so old. This shit yeah. reminded <laughs> me of like Joey and Tristan and Yu Gi Oh before they became friends. With yes, Yuki. yes, these yes, are, yes. These are some fucking thirty five year old high school. <laughs> <So, laughs> yes. um, but uh, but yeah, they they apparently he got the cops on their ass chasing them around town, and uh, they're they're not most pleased about it. Oh, so while three of them confront him from one side, another emerges from the bushes to smash him in the back of the head as an ambush. And they're just like, ha ha, I bet you didn't expect that. Oh, you've, oh, you've, you've dropped to the ground and my fist connected with the end of the broom. And yeah, we have a fight scene. Um, <laughs> well, he dispatches well, several of them with, with a broom, but the last guy manages to snap a break, like break it in half with a punch, which by the way, actually pretty impressive. <laughs> yeah. To just like shatter a broom, a broom that isn't braced at both ends. Uh-huh. With your fist, <laughs> instead of just pushing it out of the way. Um, but uh, but so yeah, U U he's left with the the broken remains of the broom, and he uses his power, which we will learn later, is the power to turn trash into trees. A fascinating superpower, if I've ever heard one. <laughs> this is a yeah. this is a stand ass ability, and I approve of it. <laughs> he didn't scary. have to lose an arm, leg, and his brother's body. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and he didn't have to. He didn't have to drink a big cup of piss and turn his teeth into yeah, a <laughs> into a sea urchin or something. <laughs> um, but uh, 
Yeah, he uses it to turn the remains of the broom handle into a sprouting tree the, the size and shape of a two-by-four and then smash the other guy. Um, leading uh, leading the blue-haired girl who has been watching this is like, yes, I knew there was something fucking weird about you. You're an alien, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> you've to, that's the one. You've come to invade the planet. It's just like, and a, a voice from above them says, ah, you fucked up now. Uh, mm -hmm. Because because Dirt Kakashi is up there. Dirt God. Kakashi, holy shit! Yes, you're <laughs> so right. I was thinking he was Kakashi adjacent, but I was like, not, but not, because he's Ad like scraglier and like. Uh, ad additionally, he could be he could he, be Trash Gojo. <laughs> trash <laughs> Gojo. <laughs> if you took a Venn diagram and one circle was Kakashi and one circle was Shaggy from Scooby Doo, he'd be in the middle. <laughs> Yeah, really like, or, that, or that one guy who wears a suit from Hunter x Hunter. But anyway. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. Like a um, Leario or whatever? Yeah, I think that's his name. But um, uh, but yeah, he's, he's sitting up in the trees and it's just like, ah, it's one of the rules. You can't hurt people with your power. You'll have to be punished. <laughs> and, it, <laughs> and it's very sinister. But the, the next scene we cut to is uh, actually him uh, in the teacher's uh, lounge talking to the girl. Uh, while uh, while Ueki, Ueki just sleeps in the classroom while they're supposed to be cleaning up, yep. Uh, and he's just like, he yeah, he lays out the God candidate thing, and she's just like, I don't believe that shit. And he's just like, You're the one who hounded me for an answer. You thought I was an alien. <laughs> uh, she's like, So, uh, so, so, what happens if he hurts somebody with his powers? She's like, Well, he's gonna lose one of his talents. And it cuts back to the other room, and the two girls that are cleaning are just like, What's wrong with U Ueki lately? He's getting some weird vibes off of him. Yep. <laughs> he seems really shady. It's just like he lost his, his talent, quote, be liked by girls. Yes, <laughs> which is very funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, which is interesting because I seem to still like him. <laughs> Maybe That's true. maybe it only affects strangers. <laughs> maybe yeah. it's not a hard and fast rule. I mean, mm -hmm. you don't have to be like if you if you're not talented at something, you could still like succeed at something. You know what I'm saying? That's true. Hard you know, hard work and dedication will <laughs> will get you pussy. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. That was funny, but we have to move on. Um <laughs> So, uh, so yeah, our next scene is her relaying this to him as they walk home from school because she's really pissed off about it. She's like taking an interest in his life just because she's just, as a relative stranger because she's just like that's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because if he loses all of his ta his quote unquote talents, he will just vanish. He just vanishes. <laughs> he from will the stop world being forever. a person. <laughs> and she thinks that's fucked. <laughs> it is fucked. <laughs> and she's right. She's um, correct, and she should say it. So, uh, so, so her kind of uh, extroverted personality will basically make it impossible for her to not interfere with his life from this point on. <laughs> um, but they they drop in uh, to they drop into a uh, a restaurant, and uh, and she's continuing to to get on his ass about this shit while he's trying to eat a beef bowl <laughs> or a rice bowl. Uh, <laughs> and uh, he he falls asleep during one part of it. And he's like, "Wow, I was like, dreaming. I, I was dream eating my... rice." <laughs> <laughs> she was like, "You were eating rice, you dumbass!" But as they do this, a huge man appears. <laughs> <laughs> Exclamation point! Huge man. Um, uh, uh, to to explain to other anime viewers, this man is basically the size and shape of Chad from Bleach. Yes, he uh, uh, he does have some Chad energy, but without he? uh, but without the uh, the the stylish fluff cut. Yeah, <laughs> this and man has like, no bangs, but less less Mexican. Yeah, yeah, le le less Hispanic. Yeah, <laughs> um, but uh, he uh. But yeah, he trips over. He he's running from some guys, and he trips over the uh, the threshold to this restaurant, and uh, so just smashes directly into Ueki, uh, mm -hmm. splatters the rice all over the place, and uh, I's just like, oh shit, he can't get into it with this guy. He's gonna He'll, use his powers he's, and he's lose a use talent. His, he's gonna use his powers and lose a talent. Um, and uh, at the other end, incidentally, is Mr. Kobayashi just sort of hanging out. And he's just like, aha, the te I will use this guy to test his his metal. 
because earlier uh, I did skip it uh, in between those scenes. They were talking about uh, two of the God candidate men were talking about uh, the fact that uh, that their selections also get a prize if yeah, they win, the, and it's the they can choose talent. what ability, whatever ability they choose, and. Uh, a good person will use it for good, necessarily, but a terrible person will use it to cause unlimited despair. <laughs> yep. So that you want to make sure that your candidate is go a good boy. <laughs> which is which logically follows, like, mm -hmm. like it makes sense. Uh, so, uh, so fucking hat boy discount speed wagon. Ass. Yeah, and, and they've uh, they also explained how uh, how he decided to give uh, Ueki the powers, which was uh, they encountered each each other on the st street, uh, and he said, "Hey, do you want some powers?" Uh huh. And the, <laughs> and the, said, the kids just really. like, nah. <laughs> he's just like, because like oh, he obviously he obviously didn't believe him, and he's just like, "Okay, I'll show you," and he exploded a nearby tree. <laughs> with obvious magical power and mm -hmm. he's like walked up to the stump and said hmm, like, do you have the opposite of this can i, I can undo what you just did you asshole uh -huh. <laughs> that i can put it back the way it was and he says of course and he gives him the power and he grows a beautiful oak tree there and he, he, and he says like, cool. but this is just the least of my powers and i could possibly offer you oh, i'll take this one this sounds like a big hassle so i'll just keep this <laughs> like i don't need any other powers thanks bye <sighs> So yeah, he gained the ability to turn trash into trees. Um, <laughs> so uh, back at the uh, back here at the uh, at the restaurant, uh, Ueki does stand up and says, "Hey, idiot! You you spilled my rice all over the mm -hmm. place." And the guy goes, "Uh," and he, he just grabs him up by the collar. He's just like, he he looks like he's about to immediately cause violence to him, but uh, the the men show up again. He's like, "Oh shit!" and he runs off. And Ueki ends up uh, wedged between his. Uh, his shoulder bag and him. <laughs> so he just carries him directly out. And he does he does get off a good joke, which is, I pay my tab. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like, what the... Okay. Um, and our our next scene is uh, them um, them running, basically. They, they're, they've continued out the back. They're on a bridge. And uh, he notices, he's like, hey, why are you still with me? What the hell? <laughs> and he's just like, I don't know. I'm stuck. I won't come loose. <laughs> And he can't get him loose. He ch he start tries and he starts choking him and he's like, yeah, he starts choking him. Ow. Um, but uh, when that, when he finally does get him loose, he notices that he's actually been surrounded by the men. And also, there is a small child here. Yes, with an umbrella, a little yep. hobo kid. This is an interesting addition because it it was preceded by nothing. There was no indication <laughs> of this. Um. But uh, but yeah, they're surrounded by the guy's goons, and they they lay out why he's being chased, which is he apparently smeared some dog shit all over the uh, an expensive car that belonged to an evil doctor. Yes. Just, well, just he just a said a doctor. I don't know if he. Yeah. Well, he 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 seemed to be incredibly dismissive of him. So yeah. Yeah. Um. And then a little boy is there. It's just like, hey, that's not true. I did that. You were just walking by. Why are you covering for me? And he's just like, I'm not covering for you. Anytime something bad happens, I get blamed blamed for it. And I'm tired of explaining myself. Uh-huh. Because he's this a big delinquent kid. That I wrote, he, big boy, good boy, question mark. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's, he's like a well-known delinquent. Mm-hmm. Uh, but but they get hemmed in by these by these men and this quote evil doctor who wears a hilarious tie. Oh, like and he's, <laughs> he's and he looks like uh, he looks like Gein from Bleach. He's, it's a yeah, lot. Yeah, he does the oh, eyes. Yeah. He does the eyes thing. Barely but, open. <laughs> uh, we are about to meet the villain of the episode, who is just laughably evil in like a Scooby Doo way. <laughs> It's it's kind of funny. I wasn't prepared for this cartoon. As, when, I mean, it's an anime. When, I should have been ready. When you think about the fact that this man is just like a doctor, yes, like he's just like a, a like a professional adult in Japan. Yes, <laughs> he does look like hilarious. he's just got a suit on, and he just looks like a guy. But, but then uh, no, <laughs> he breathes. He's got his little goons, and one of them walks up and hands him a, a fucking whip. Yeah, out yeah, of wait nowhere. for it. 
Um, that reminds me of the people who would like see a fucking like um, one like Studio Ghibli movie and then mm-hmm. write a think piece about how like anime is beautiful because there's never like obvious villains. And it's like, dude, you've only ever seen Studio Ghibli, you have you? It was like, there's Watch. so much. Listen, there's so much out there. Um, but, like, uh, dude, it's not. That's not because Studio Ghibli is an anime. That's because Studio Ghibli is good. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some of the most hilariously evil people outside of Star Wars in anime. In anime, <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, but uh, but anyway, I, I, I digress. We have to move on with it. Uh, there's a there's a, a a short scene where the the little boys is like, "Hey, the big guy didn't do it. It was me," and he jumps off the bridge to get away <laughs> into the river. <laughs> And and they're just like and they're just like ha ha look at that shit and the big guy's just like oh shit that kid's gonna drown he jumps <laughs> he just, in after him he just dives in after him and then um he also can't swim yeah yeah they're they're having their own struggles but uh it's not that he can't swim it's just that he's enormous and heavy he's heavy and he <laughs> but uh but yeah and then finally Ueki walks up to the to the guardrail where the doctor is just looking over just like. He's just like, you see that shit? He's just like, are you going to go as well? And he just decks him. Yes. <laughs> Which is great. But, uh, but yeah, we, we cut to them and it's just like, the big guy reaches the child who has already gone. Yeah. Limp. <laughs> just complete escape failure. Yes. But uh, he's just like, I'm sinking like a rock. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, and he reaches him, but he can't pull him back up because he's yes. just not a, not a strong swimmer. Uh, he's just like, looks like this might be it for me. Uh-huh. And then, and then Oweki U- grabs them because he obviously jumped off, but he can't pull both of them up because he is significantly smaller. Yes, he is a tiny little. Guy. <laughs> but you know what he's got? He's got a gum wrapper. <laughs> yeah. So he, so he just goes straight. They just go straight up on this enormous tree. <laughs> Which, by the way, I wonder how, how, how often and how drastically this child just alters the geography of his town <laughs> and, and whether anybody's noticed yet. <laughs> we, we also have to, to backtrack just a little because one of the funniest jokes in the episode is the fact that um, there was a moment where uh, the uh, discount Kakashi was watching um, Ueki to see if he was going to attack the doctor mm. uh, because... Uh, he w- we're not, they, they were being accosted. They were being whipped, literally by a whip. That's a that's um, uh. We're not backtracking for that. You've gone ahead. Is that a head? <laughs> yes. I literally, I don't think it is. Um. So yeah, after they dismount the tree, they're just on the bridge again. They're just surrounded by goons, and yeah, one of the goons has handed this man a, a horse whip. <laughs> a whip, just... uh, actually. Yeah. Like Indiana Jones would have done. And yeah, he's just taking them apart with it. <laughs> he's just wailing on them. Because the big guy apparently made a promise to, to someone that he wouldn't hit anyone ever again. They have and, like a little flashback moment about it. Yeah. And Ueki's just a boy. He's just a green-headed shonen boy. He, he, <laughs> he's uh, kind of a discount uh, Deku, if you think about it. Yeah, he's a pro uh, Deku. I was, that was my first thought. Like when but, uh, he started losing his powers to because of things, I was like, "Oh, this is like reverse um, Deku." Kind of. So uh, anyway, and, and over on a, a rooftop, you've got Dirk Kakashi. Um, <laughs> yeah, Dirk Kakashi. It's just like, just like I need to know if you're righteous. If you will use your power against these evil men without worrying about it, then I'll know you're righteous. And he, the the doctor, just slaps him down with the the whip. And he's just he's just like, ah, I, ah, I should have known. You're a coward. And then he looks up and he sees a banner across the road that just says community cleanup initiative. Keep and he's our just like streets clean. He's just like, oh shit, there's no trash. He, he can't do it if he wanted he, to, because there's he can't no trash. Use the power. <laughs> Um, very fucking funny joke, honestly. And yeah, yeah, the doctor is just winning. He's just whipping the shit out of the Yes. Um and he eventually takes them below, beneath the bridge. And this is where it starts to get really funny for me. <laughs> this is where it gets so I, fucking funny. I need you to understand that the inciting incident for this was somebody threw dog shit at his Lexus. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so his moving, moving forward. No, let, with chains. Let, me do, let, let me describe do it. Because the, the moment it. the thing happened, is I almost <laughs> went blind with laughter. 
<laughs> like the blood started leaving my head. <laughs> and I, I flickered in and out of consciousness. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> yes. So, uh, so yeah, he's got them tied up with like logging chains, all three of them, the kid, the little kid too. Uh, and, <laughs> and he's got, he's got his car and two, his goons have two other cars and they're just revving the engine. I'm just like, are they just going to murder these kids? They are this? just going to murder them. It's just like, dude, they're going to find you. Yeah. <laughs> You're just going to kill three children? Listen, he's an evil doctor. He can get away with this. He's, he's clearly a bad... <laughs> He's clearly a bad doctor. Do do harm, apparently. Um, so uh, so yeah, and and like is just like uh, just like there's no trash. There's no trash. There's no trash. Yes. Um, I'm gonna. Am I gonna die here? Because there's no trash. <laughs> um, and we we the other guy. Uh, I forget the the big guy's name. So he's just the big guy. He he's may be a character guy. later, but Perhaps. we'll see. But I hope so. I like. We we I get a little of his backstory, guy. which is we flash back to him marching out of his uh, karate dojo, and he's just like, "I have to go. I have to fight for real." And and his master, who's an old man, is just like, "Just like, don't fight for real. Why would you do that?" He's like, "I have to get stronger, and I know I'll get stronger if I fight for real." <laughs> um, and he slams the door. And then the next scene is of him in the park, just face down because some local hooligans just beat the shit out of him. <laughs> Because they got, they just sucker punched him, mm -hmm. um, and when he wakes up, his master is sitting on the park bench. He's just like, "I thought you would get stronger if you fought for real." And he's just like, "And I'm sitting there just going like, dude, that doesn't count." Yeah, that doesn't <laughs> they do, count. They fucking jumped him. <laughs> like that could happen to anybody. It could happen to your old ass. This could happen to you. But whatever. He's he's about to learn an important moral lesson, even if it's couched in stupidity. Yes. Um, which is, which is, you know why you can't get stronger is because you only want to get stronger for yourself. And he, he, he like starts crying, which is just like, <laughs> hey, maybe you should like ease up because he's obviously like a child, yeah. even if he's like big. <laughs> yeah. Like, wasn't the humiliation enough? <laughs> but, uh, mm -hmm. and the old man goes to buy a drink and he's just like, you know, he's just like, you know, you will get stronger if you find that, find someone to fight for. He's just like, really? And, and if you promise not to hit anyone, you'll find that person. <laughs> yeah. Which I'm just like... Special someone. This is a contrivance, but all right, fine, whatever. Like, okay, fine. Because <laughs> I, I don't think anybody would actually give that advice. That It feels like the opposite of Iro, like Uncle Iroh's advice. It's just like, you're going to tell me to get along with my sister. No, she's crazy, and she has to go down. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, uh... But uh, yeah, so he's just like he's just like I can't hit anybody unless it's, it's for been somebody a year. else. It's been a year and I haven't found that person. Oh wait, we're about to be killed by a doctor. Me and this small child. Yes, and it takes him a good long while to realize that like his moral so obligation dense. to do violence to save this child. Yes. <laughs> Yes, yes. But He's to his like credit, evil. he finally gets it. He also breaks a bunch of logging chains by flexing his yes. his, his shoulders. Incredible. Which, which makes me very afraid of him. And then the doctor <laughs> sends a guy at him, which is bigger and scarier. Oh, oh man, him that somehow. guy. So so okay in the in the history of like nameless goons this guy is incredible because he's just a, a suit guy he's like a cheap he's like cheap yakuza muscle but he just runs at him like a, f a feral gorilla like, yeah. his mouth unhinges and his teeth are he, so menacing he, he's somehow. got he's got so sh his teeth are so sharp and he's just like he's he's too two degrees away from just sprinting at him on all fours like a <laughs> yeah. beast it's incredible. That guy, that guy was a jump scare moment for me. Yeah. And then he just gets he he just gets immediately decimated. He yes, gets, he just gets obliterated. He gets it's grand so slammed over the horizon he gets, like they he used gets to Team do Rocket that. blasting off again. <laughs> he does. He turns into a sky star. <laughs> um it's so funny. But they're not out, out of the woods yet because the guy, well. The kid, the kid got a bullwhip wrapped all the way around his knee earlier. So yeah, he's just it just falls out from under him, and he's just like, "Oh shit!" They're still in cars, and they're still gonna come at us. Uh -huh. uh, when uh, when I comes back because she's been watching this whole time, trying to 
trying to keep him from having to use his powers, and she just dumps a whole bag of trash on him. They just throws it to him. She's just be like, "This was so hard to find." <laughs> I was supposed to help you keep your talents, but, oh, uh, <laughs> alas. And, and uh, uh, Ueki says, ah, great. And he, he just uses the paper within to stop the cars with a big, just a big tree. Yeah, uh, big tree. And this happens because he stops <laughs> the first two cars. So the doctor's just like, wow, that's a stupid magic trick. And he gets in his car, turns the key, and pushes a button that causes the engine compartment to open up and a giant drill to emerge from him. <laughs> Holy coolie ass. <laughs> It was, it was so this, fucking funny. This man is just a GP. <laughs> he doesn't have powers or anything. Why does he have this? He needs it for evil doctor purposes. He's, that's part of every Lexus. Did you not know that? That's a standard feature. They're going to start putting those in Teslas so they can more efficiently kill children on the streets. Um, <laughs> yes. But... But yeah, it's just like, oh shit, what's gonna happen? Oh, he got speared by a giant tree. Oh, yep, he had another <laughs> giant tree. He, he, he just he had he, a lot of trash. He still had a bunch of trash in his little bag of trash. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much the end of the episode. Yep. They just they just spike him and they're done. And then the they outro is nothing. The intro is extremely 90s ass. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, and uh, discount Kakashi does say, "Oh, this is my guy." Oh yeah, he's he's. You got to get somebody at least as good as this. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I don't think all of the god candidates are of the same opinion because I feel like there's got to be at least one out there. It's just be like, I'm gonna get the worst motherfucker I could possibly yeah, find, I'm and he get will the meanest. Son he of will bitch assure out me go godhood by killing the other contestants yeah. outside I, of the I ring. bet you. <laughs> I bet you that one of them is just going to be like a really talented kid, and it's like he can waste so many talents because he's so talented. He yeah, can kill he, so he many guys. <laughs> he doesn't need to worry about worry about losing all his talents because he already he's has got a so many. To begin with. What if yeah. what if there's a guy who doesn't use his power to hurt people? He just brings a gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so true too. But anyway, wow. uh, to the to the informative portion of our podcast, what little. <laughs> that is. Um, what do, what do we think of this? Uh, um, I, I didn't like this, it, but I, I didn't this, like it in a funny way. <laughs> I said this when I came in. This was one of the most animes I've ever watched of all time. This is one yeah, of the animes. It's of one time. of the animes. I, listen, I did also like watch the episode preview for the next one, and mm -hmm. it looks like God. There's just so much happening in this all the time, and I don't even. This would have been a show that I would have enjoyed watching on Cartoon Network when I was 13. That's mm -hmm. that's the category I have slotted this into. Um, so I'm going to say it's not for me now. I also need everyone to know that there are 51 episodes of this. That's a long oh, run. God. Um, that was back in the time when they, that's just how they did it. Like, Well, yeah, that's how they, that's how they did Shonen. But, yes. Um, they um, they didn't split them up into into five seasons. They would just run forever. Um, I think there's a scene in the next episode where someone in a a poop suit is chasing someone. I oh, saw good. a little poop guy running around. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> so so as for quality, uh, I'll give the animation. The animation was all right, and some of the the action was pretty good. Yeah, um, um, I will there were some jokes the point. that landed. I will detract the point for the intro using some absolutely fucking hideous Photoshop lens flares. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's but, true, actually. That was the style at the top. <laughs> that was, that's just what was cool back then. Um, um, and uh, I will give it, uh, I will give it a, po a point for plot for giving the uh, main character a very unique power. Yes. It is it is yeah. a stand user ass ability. Stand user yeah, ability. It is. I appreciate that. Um <laughs> also it makes more sense than Giorno's stand from part five. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda, yeah. Which does uh, similar things. <laughs> I I enjoy uh I enjoy uh Ueki as a character, kind of. He's he's got a fun sort of thing going on. I enjoy I as a character. I enjoy big guy as a character. I don't know how I feel about Dirt Kakashi. 
You know, you don't know <laughs> don't how you feel about him. about about good old uh, good old trash Gojo. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't trust him. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think that you're I, not supposed to trust him, but I don't. I think like, I'm just like Squint's eyes at. <laughs> I, I don't know about his capacity for betrayal. Anime was simpler back then. It, <laughs> or at least really shonen true. was. It, it's not even about betrayal. It's just like, I don't know. You seem like a weirdo. Maybe he's I don't know. Secret. Look at how look at how whack the fucking evil guy in this anime was. <laughs> he was incredibly. <laughs> he was You're incredible. Evil, you gotta be super I don't, evil. You gotta have I don't, a drill car. <laughs> I don't trust this anime to do anything other than that. That's, yeah, <laughs> that's all it's capable of, and maybe yeah. maybe it knows that. Maybe it writes w- within those bounds. But... <laughs> well, but... I guess we're not gonna find out because I don't think I'm watching more. And I'm y'all... gonna. I'm this was ho- it. this was hilarious, but I got better shit to do. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's pretty much how I feel. Like, anyway, uh... if you'd like to tell us the, what features came came with your Tesla, you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> one episode cast at gmail.com. That is one the word, not the number. Hey, keep our streets clean and uh, <laughs> send your filth directly to Twitter. Uh, we are at one episode cast. I don't know. We, given we... like the population of Twitter these days, it's just mostly like blue ticks. Like, I feel like most of Twitter is just people talking about their Teslas now. <laughs> uh, uh, no, occasionally, there's me posting my art. Because. Okay. Because I'll tell you the truth, I don't see blue ticks most of the time. What I see is people mercilessly roasting blue ticks. Yeah. Wait, ah. so are, are we calling them blue ticks now? Blue ticks. We, we've been calling them blue ticks since before Elon took over. They just became more prevalent now. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but, uh, it's no longer a clout competition, but a, um, <sighs> like this, I don't know. Buddy competition, I guess. I don't know. It's it's whatever. But it's a fucking yeah. abyss. This is what it is. Anyway, uh, good night, y'all. Into the drill car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the went at drill car. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>